Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Place of Binding Vice Gadget Worth 41. 40 and 41 were both very strange. I'm hoping this one's a little bit more traditional. So far, so good. SXRWT, and by T, I mean 2WT4 Monstro's Lung, which I have to say, compared to the actual icon, probably has the worst stat screen icon of all. This looks like a shitty Oak Arena. Uh, and Crystal Ball. And Crystal Ball is a good item. Okay, we are on an XL floor. Um, which is good to know, so that we can give ourselves the best chance possible of getting a deal with the devil. Our rate of fire is bad. Monstro's Lung makes it so that that's not the end of the world, because one full charge will kill most enemies, probably even this champion. Um, but... Ooh, and uh, actually Juicy Sack is fine as well, but we do need to be a little cautious on rooms that are chock full of enemies. We want to hit as many as possible, but also keep ourselves out of harm's way. Now there is a red chest... I can't remember if there was a tinted rock next to it, but I just want to not find ourselves in a situation where we're being run down here. So the most important priority, open up space. And hopefully our other item room has uh, piercing shots in it. If so, I think we're in a great position moving forward. And maybe our rate of fire is not that bad. The fact that we were able to make it through this room without much... Uh, Hindrance uh, is, a, is a huge positive, I think, so still shoot some of these poops, but probably not all of them And just hoping for a single bomb, please, at any point in the future would be nice Okay, that's a red heart, that's good, but not what we're looking for At least after this room, we get access to the item That was bad, never let an enemy get in behind you like that How does Juicy Sack work with Monstro's Lung? Every time you take a shot, there's a chance that it spawns a spider or every Monstro's Lung tier, of which there are, you know, like 20 per hit, per shot, um, it gives you a chance to spawn a spider. It seems like it's every time we fire, it gives us a chance to spawn a spider. It would be awesome if it was every, every single tier available, but so be it. Okay, there's our Spirit Heart. That's what we're looking for. Uh, Abel sucks. A little bit, at least. And our pill is not bad trip. Okay, let's go hopefully get our deal with the devil here and improve ourselves. We m oh, that was such a bad dodge. Target fixation. You see, you know, if you, if you don't drive a car, almost everybody who drives knows this, but you should look where you want to go. There's like a subconscious function in the brain that is like, hey, you're looking at something, I'm going to move your, your body over to it. I'm going to move your hands over to it. When you're driving, you never want to look at, like, what somebody else is doing, at least for too long. You, you want to pay attention to what other people are doing, obviously, because you're like, hey, look at that fucking moron. And you want to avoid them. But, um, you don't want to be like, there's, uh, you know, something going on on the shoulder of the road because you can steer into it. Or, you know, you, if you, uh, if you find, like, a deer runs out in front of you, you want to look to the side that you actually want to dodge to. You don't want to look at it because you end up subconsciously kind of steering into it, you know? You would say, well, not me. Yeah, you're right. You've got the only human brain that's immune to it. Please submit your body for medical testing. I'm just telling you, you're not bigger than the phenomenon, okay? I got, I got hosed by target fixation there. Uh, we definitely want Goat Head. I think we're fine with Crystal Ball apart from that. And you know what? Let's explore. Like, we got a lot of time left on this floor. We didn't drastically improve ourselves, I would say, from our, our boss fights and, and our deal with the devil. At least, you know, our rating right now is the same. We're still like a, a 7.5, 8 out of 10 on this run right now. But our potential rating has gone from like a B to an A because of Goat Head, so... I'm happy about that, and as we saw in the last run, uh, although the last run was good, we had Goathead early, and we never really got super overpowered, so, like, it's not a guarantee that we're, that we're fine to have, to have Goathead, or that we will be fine to have Goathead even, but it does help out a lot. And we still got 3 HP, so I'm not very concerned about things in that regard. Now we definitely should explore just so I can get mapping uh, before the next floor or, or soon on the next floor. And let's also not ignore the fact, hey, you know, two of spades. It's pretty meaningful when we have uh, four keys especially already, so kind of just been sitting on four keys for a while here. Possibly more by the time we get down to the next floor. And that's enough to take us to every item room for the rest of the game, more or less. No bombs though on the whole floor. Little bomber, little bomber, not little bomber. That's a, that's a totally different item. Oh, did I spoil another Afterbirth Plus item? Here's one. It's called Elon Musk's frontal lobe. It gives you plus sixty nine to knowledge. Um, knowledge is a stat 
that increases your odds of getting a random map discovery on each floor. You didn't hear it from me. <laughs> if you pair it with Shrek's ball sack, you get a really nice synergistic cocktail. Did I choose those words deliberately? Yes, of course. Everything I do is deliberately. Also, every little thing I do is magic. Well, this run is like, I don't want to call it a mixed bag, because that's insulting to mixed bags. This run is actually pretty good. I just wish we had like a faster rate of fire and piercing shots. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good, I would call her. I wish I... Of all the parts in the ski -Lo song, let's be honest. We all, we all know it. And we all maybe agree to some extent. There are people out there who probably don't wish they were a little bit taller. I've never found my height much of a concern, but if you gave me the choice between saying the same size or growing, you know, two inches, I guess I'd probably grow two inches. There's nothing wrong, you know. It probably carries more advantages than disadvantages. Grab things off slightly higher shelves. Be a little bit better at basketball, but still really bad. I wish I was a baller. Okay, why not? It doesn't sound like I'm, I'm getting any penalty from this, so sure, I'll become a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her already, I mean, sorted. I'm a married man, but at the same time, I, I can understand that being something people would be, you know, desirous of. Um, I wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat. What? Wish I was a little bit taller. Wish I was a baller. Wish I had a girl who looked good, I would call her. Very relatable. Wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat. And a 64 Impala. Well, a 64 Impala, again, it carries no downside, right? If you're just giving me the 64 Impala for no reason, no skin off my scrot. I'll take it. If you're not using it. But what is this rabbit in a... Having a rabbit in a hat with a bat is actually... Is that the penalty? Because it sounds like you're babysitting. I don't, first off, I'm assuming you mean like a baseball bat, but those, those are really the only words you could think of that rhyme in this situation. Maybe that's the thing. It's like you can be a little bit taller. You can be a baller. You can have a girl who looks good and you can call her. But then you have to take care of this rabbit in the hat with a bat. And then I'd be like, you know what? I'm content with my existing height and ballable skills. We are, uh, as you might expect from my actions right now, going to use this... Uh, forget me now. Forget me now plus the goat head is a really, really nice synergy. You know, it just gives you one extra deal with the devil and deals with the devil are precious. You know, access to those deal with the devil items is valuable. We do uh, also have the luxury of having magic mush now, which is a nice damage multiplier, of course. And by nice, I mean, like, you know, it's, it's double damage. It's, it's really fucking good, but... I'm just feeling a little bit slow on the rate of fire still. So I'm hoping in the future we can deal with that. I know I could have used two of spades. I'm not sweating it too much. I've already opened everything on this floor that I want to open in all likelihood. So don't think we're missing out. I just want to get our boss fight, get our deal with the devil, move on with our lives here. This seems like a large floor, but it's probably just the... The classic, you know, Curse of the Lost illusion. My favorite Nickelodeon show. There we go. Okay. Second secret room is nothing. I imagine we're probably going to destroy this boss. I can't think of a second floor boss that I would be, like, scared of right now. The Fallen would be the worst, but I think still easy. Easy-ish. Dude, this floor never ends! We talked about all of CeeLo's, sorry, Skilo, different guy, um, Magnum Opus, I wish, and yet here we still are. I mean, what is he, what is it he says? If, uh, I wish every day was my day, cause every day would be a Friday, and you could speed on the highway. That's not a valuable thing. People already speed on the highway. And you might say, like, yeah, you get a ticket for it. Okay. I mean, that's the price you pay, right? You can speed on the highway. I don't mean to be pedantic. You know, go on the interstate sometimes. There's nobody driving. I've, yo, oh, you're from Canada. Yo, I go on I-5 southbound all the time, dog. Day trips to Seattle. It's a beautiful drive along the PN dub. But at the same time, number of people doing the speed limit is like 10% of the population. Skilo is raising a solution to a problem that actually does not exist. Okay, we got speed up. That's actually pretty good, albeit not essential. And then we are going to get Brimstone Monstro's Lung. 
Brimstone ruins Monstro's lung. It doesn't work. It works in Afterbirth Plus if the gifts from Tyrone are to be believed. But I don't believe it works in Afterbirth. And if it does work in Afterbirth, then I apologize. But at the same time, you're going to actually get on my ass for not taking Brimstone on a run? I did it out of the goodness of my heart. We could have taken that and just won the run. Although it would have been very, very slow from a you know, rate of fire standpoint. So don't get up my butt, mister. Everything I do... I do it for you. Uh, definitely, I will take one spirit heart uh, loss in order to pick up. Wow, what a great shield. Uh, in order to pick up Guppy's head. I think our flies should be doing good damage. I don't exactly know how damage is scaled with Monstro's Lung, but I'm, I'm feeling pretty solid about this. Oh, my lord. We're still in a great space, though. I don't know why I would choose to say great space. But um, we are in a great space right now. From a three or four dimensional standpoint, I suppose. You know, we got a lot of HP. We got a lot of damage. We got Goat Head. We're not... We're going to be slightly behind schedule for Boss Rush. But only because we're, you're, we're taking a little bit of time to get our acceleration up. You know, to get better and better items. So Kiva Meat's fine. Although not amazing. And we're just hoping for a Guppy item, which we did not get. But we did get one makes you small. We all know how valuable that item can be. Okay, we got a curse room coming and uh, mob trap room. Hey, why wouldn't I, right? Now maybe we'll use two of spades. We got six keys out of it. Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna buy anything. I could buy a spirit art to make myself feel less bad about that, but I'm not going to do so. I don't think it's necessary. Mr. Boom, also not necessary. I don't know why I feel like an angry teacher every time I say Mr. Boom. It's like he just, he's cutting up in class or something. Mr. Boom! If that will be quite enough, can I continue with my lesson on some shit only grown-ups care about? That's what, always what it is, you know? In these kids' movies, teachers are portrayed as like, well, not all teachers. You know, some teachers are portrayed very sympathetically, but a lot of teachers, they're portrayed as bad guys. And sometimes that's what kids see them as, because, you know, they're in, like, their own little world. You know, school is their, you know, animal kingdom, right? Whereas the teacher is just like, man, I really hope the union raises our pay by, like, 10% this year so I can afford to go to the hospital if I get sick. But anyway, I digress. Um, the, uh, in reality, you know, being a teacher is a pretty selfless job for the most part. You know, you're going, you're, you're basically the world's best babysitters. You're like, eh, I'm gonna babysit your kid. You gotta pay like, you know, 500 bucks a year in taxes to go to a public school. Which is like, you know, $1.50 a day. And, um, we'll babysit your kid. It's not actually five. That That's needlessly misleading. But, I don't know how much your taxes are in America. But, anyway, you know, it's... You don't have to send them to a private school. Tell you what, we'll take care of them. We'll make sure they don't, you know, eat a pair of scissors or something like that. And then also, for the next... 13, 14 years, we'll make him a productive member of society. How do you feel about that? Yeah, well, it's not totally selfless, you know. It's good for the country to have productive citizens. Are you listening to yourself right now? Someone's going to educate your child for the low, low fee of whatever your taxes are. And then you're going to say it's not selfless. They have a vested interest in it. Yo, just accept the gift, man. It's not a Trojan horse. This isn't Sea World. It's as real as it gets. I'm in eighth grade, motherfucker. Don't you ever forget. Okay, well, you know, we could be super min maxi and try this. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And we got infamy out of it, which is pretty good. I'm just saying, like, I know those of you, especially, like, this video is probably going to come out in September. You maybe have recently gone back to school. And maybe you're, if you're one of those people, who, by the way, who's like, I like school. Dude, that's awesome. And I feel for you that you have to pretend to be like, yeah, school sucks. Because I've been there. I'd be like, man... You know, my friends will be like, there's a chemistry test today. Mr. Jenkins is such a dick. And I'll be like, yeah, tests, right? When do you ever get tested on your performance in real life? Never. But in my head, I'm like, I love it. It's like a video game. It's like a boss fight. I've been practicing. I've been reading up strategies on the internet. I know that Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. I'm ready. Mr. Jenkins, give me the test. I'm ready, you know? We have a real problem with, uh, with anti-intellectualism. Like, to... To say that you're pro-learning, at least in my generation, it wasn't like a, a sin. But to be like, you know, I really like 
learning. It's like, champ! <laughs> Whatever, nerd. Okay, cool. I can't wait till school's over. You know? It didn't, you know, it cuts both ways, but I don't I think you should I think it's real cool to be pro learning, you know? I hope that you enjoy learning. And it's not necessarily the fault of of you if you're not. It might be, you know, your your school, but it, it might be you. Maybe you just open your mind a little bit. Let's head down here. We're doing well. And this run, you know, by the fact that we're just going off on constant non sequiturs here, you know this run's popping off. Even though we're 30 seconds or so behind schedule, boss rush seems extremely likely here. Uh, Monstro's Lung works very well with Little Brimstone, the item we just picked up. Because they both take a little while to charge, but they both do a lot of damage when they pop off. So we should be able to fire them, you know, nearly, uh, nearly consecutively. Nearly simultaneously is what I'm going for here. Consecutively would also be okay... The problem is, uh, when we use our, uh, flies, it is going to pop Little Brimstone. First Afterbirth Plus mod I make, when you press your spacebar item, it will no longer just use Little Brimstone. That's actually a, a quality of life mod for sure, if I've ever heard one. Okay, we're lucky to be here. Um, we want to stick with Guppy's head. We do also want to donate as much money as we possibly can here. We've been very rude to our donation machine re recently. Um, we're just gonna use Pandora's Box because we want to stick with Guppy's head. So, use Pandora's Box, four Spirit Hearts, solid. Try to get a teleportation card, that is not it, but it is an HP upgrade, which sort of don't see a reason right now not to take that. And we can just leave, that's good. Okay, and our boss fight is right up here, so very shortly we actually are gonna be ahead of schedule. Monstro's Tooth, not good enough. All I, all, I only say this... To be like, you know... Hold it, it gets better, I guess is what I'm trying to say. If you, if you hate learning. You'll meet people in college who love learning like way more than you love learning. And you'll you'll understand then. You'll be like, fucking dork. I mean, I'm a dork, but you're like a turbo dork, you know? It's all... Dorkness runs downhill. You're the big fish at your high school, you go to college, and then you're like, well, that dude's like actually a big fish. And I want to call him a dork to make myself feel better about the fact that he's got straight A's. I was not the king dork. I was, I was at best, maybe like a Jarl of dorkdom. Which, just by saying that, maybe means that I am king dork. <laughs> just, you know, we're, we're giving you an honorary degree in uh, dorkdom because of your phrase, the Jarl of dorkdom. Which actually does sound like a, like a Welsh fiefdom or something. All my friends know the Welsh fiefdom. The Welsh Five Doom produces lots of garum. Garum is a fishy sauce used by the Romans. Well, I guess we're just gonna not take that. We will take that though. Now there's a benefit to taking IV bag because we could actually use IV bag to. Uh, to hurt ourselves and then run into enemies with 30 touch, but it's kind of like, again, you know, I use this paradigm a lot, but it's a, it's a play that's cute, but not necessarily smart. And I would, I would rather kind of like, you know, do one that's smart, but not necessarily cute. Um, although, I will say, picking up, uh, picking up Strange Attractor was neither. I was kind of under the impression that maybe it would be good for us because we've got Monstro's Lungs, so we'll just, you know, suck enemies into the Vortex and they can experience tranquility, but it's not really working out like that. For seven cents, I think we say, yeah, we don't want the Bible anymore. Um, so we'll take that out of our situation. We'll take a health upgrade. Again, I think it's good, even though, um, it's sort of irrelevant at this point, but it's more cheap HP for deals with the devil. We don't need full health. We'll roll High Priestess. Are we going to uh, do Boss Rush? Almost certainly not. We just, you know, I, I don't want to invest the time without a Teleport card here, but if we get a certain amount of damage, I'd consider it, but, but Guppy's Paw is not good enough. If we became Guppy, I'd probably be in. Uh, how to jump, the soul, Sissy Long Legs, and Lost Protector. Um, I mean, the soul, I think, the soul is simultaneously, like, overrated and underrated. If I can get inside of my own asshole a little bit. I will, you know what? I will reroll my whole run once. That's my MO. Reroll the whole run once. Hopefully you have not just witnessed the genesis of the end of the streak. It seems okay. 2020. 
Um, much faster. Good damage. We also have Blue Baby's only friend, although it's it's effectively doing nothing because my tears are much better. Um, toxic shock, piercing shots. This seemed to be a fun reroll, actually. We're we're good. One day that's gonna fuck us. We're gonna we're gonna die as a result of that. But it's not today. Hermit, like two rooms too late. That's okay though. All right, boss room is over in this direction. I mean, again, those could be luck upgrades, but who cares? Kidney stone also very good in some situations. I don't want to use Kidney Stone right now because I know that we're just gonna, you know, crush the next room that we use it on. It's probably, oh, it's not our secret room, it's just the way. How did you live through that? Something's not right here. That was a terrible dodge, terrible dodge. Haven't seen a dodge that terrible since the 1992 Dodge Shadow, am I right? Motor trend enthusiast? Am I right, motor trend enthusiast? Get off the stage! I started a No, get off the stage! You don't understand, it's long form comedy. You just sort of listen to me for a thousand hours and then you find it funny for whatever reason. It's, I, don't, I can't explain it, but 999.5 hours to go! My baby takes the morning train! Bad gas. Range down. Not a big deal. Seems like our shot speed is good thanks to uh, speed balls, so a range downgrade doesn't doesn't hurt me too much. Is this run better? I don't know. It may actually be worse. We, You know what? It's almost certainly definitely worse because we don't have the goat head anymore. So our odds of becoming guppy have probably plummeted a little bit. Can you plummet a little bit? Can you plummet? They always say like they plummeted 35,000 feet in 100 seconds. Exerting g-forces of up to 90 newtons on the body. 90 newtons is not that much. But 9 g's is a lot. That's more than you get in the fucking teacups at the Knott's Berry Farm, I'll tell you that much. But anyway. You know, I always thought that Knott's Berry Farm was like a... Like a, the world's shittiest amusement park. Because it's named Knott's Berry Farm. And I looked it up, they got like some of the scariest roller coasters I've ever seen in my whole life. Why is that place called Knott's Berry Farm? It should be called fucking Knott's Terror Factory. But anyway, I digress. Can you plummet like two feet? If you just plummet really fast? I don't know, I think uh, Blue Baby's only friend is kind of like driving the bus right now. We do have, we definitely have the mulligan. Because we're generating flies here. Okay, now I've I've gone back. Is Blue Baby's friend driving the bus? I don't know. Look at that. It's doing a lot of damage, isn't it? No deal with the devil. Pageant Boy. Ooh. Fantastic. It's Pageant Boy, everybody. Lots of money that I'll use for the hush fight that I don't plan to go to. Utero 2. HP's still good. New respect for Blue Baby's only friend. An item that I'd like to begin with. Um, you know, just throw down a bomb. I want to see if we had, like, sad bombs. We do not. By the way, I'll take the keys. Now this is a this is an interesting room we got back here. Do you wish? I'm not gonna say to be a little taller, be a baller, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Do you wish to go to this boss trap room? I think the answer is yes. We must have uh, Virgo. We've got some invincibility here. I would love the blood bag. IV bag, I don't care about, but I would love the blood bag. Okay, don't play anymore. We want to go into this room, see if there's guppy items. There's not guppy items. This is an extraordinary waste of our time, all things considered. Unless they drop a red chest right after. Then I'd be slightly happier about the situation. Yeah, damage is fine. I don't know. I, I, I'm finding it hard to, like, draw, you know, a number out of 10 on this run. But if I had to, I'd say... 6.80541. You know, I like to be specific. Uh, he bounced off the poop and almost hit me. That was, like, a next-level technique. I've rarely seen a, uh, a hollow come that close. Where are we getting all this HP from, by the way? Do we have Gimpy? Just seems like a lot of our enemies are creating red hearts. More than I would normally expect. On death, by the way. Creating red hearts on death. Oh, God. I 
Okay, a little dicey. Made it through, though. Thank you, by the way, Toxic Shock, for making that easier than it had any right to be. Um, and also creating a just a matrix of shots that I, you know, summarily had to matrix my own way through. One makes you larger. One or two of these, irrelevant. 30 or 40 of these creates a very interesting situation. I think that's undeniable. Certainly, I'd rather have one makes you small times 20 on every single run than one makes you large times 20 on one single run. So, uh, I guess I... You know, it can always be worse. Do we want the tick? It's not bad. Oh, you know what? We we have little Chad. He's hard to see because he's attached to Gemini. We do have little Chad. So that's why we're getting these hearts on occasion. Hearts on occasions. That's a great, like, 80s soft rock song. She only gave me her heart on occasion. Try to think of a rhyme that isn't Asian Cause that will look culturally insensitive In spite of the fact that this song was composed 30 years ago Hearts on occasion <laughs> Duration, yeah there you go I was stunned for the duration I worked in animation I'm working on it and she only gave me her heart on occasion With her cool recreation On Saturday night she was in my life And on Monday night she was out of sight There you go! Hearts on, hearts, uh, on occasion uh, And now it's just heart on occasion, but still Nah, I don't think it's worth it. I think we'd rather just ride this one out. You know, we, we're at the point where we can relatively coast, I think. Ooh! Okay. Let's do this. HP continues to not really get better. Which is good, because it doesn't give me an opportunity to sing Hey Jude. Okay. Kidney Stone's charged up. And then we squandered it. That's okay. What are we looking for? What are we looking for? Boss room? Yes. Uh, opportunity to get a guppy item, i.e. open every single red chest available to you within reason? Yes. Uh, yeah, lucky toe. I mean, if we're not getting the mapping from Liberty Cap, it becomes a bit worse of a trinket, I think. Our rate of fire is actually really bad on this run. Uh, I thought it was pretty good, but I mean, and with 2020, it's maybe not as bad as it looks, but... Uh, it isn't good, unless Kidney Stone is active when we enter a room. But that's what Blue Baby's only friend is for, and I think that, you know, the principal strength of this run will not become clear until we lose our, our spirit hearts. You know, right now, it might look like, ooh, it's a little dicey, but I think we become very difficult to kill. You know, we're generating a lot of red hearts that aren't at the present moment doing anything for us. Once they start doing something for us, this run is going to look a lot better. What I, basically, our descent into death is going to be slowed by a great degree um, once we lose all our spirit hearts. If we lose all our spirit hearts, of course, I would rather just not lose all of our spirit hearts. That's another viable option, I'd say. Please. Ignore the gas leak sound in the background. It's not relevant to the situation. Even if there was methane leak in here, I would finish this run. I'm deep in concentration right now. I'm glad you got some zaniness earlier, because now I'm in the fudging zone. You don't want to be in the fudging zone. I'm gonna wreak havoc on your Knott's Berry Farm. God dang it. Okay, here we go. I don't know why Hearts on Occasion is like a slow... Funeral dirge version of like YMCA. It's fun to stay at the heart on occasion. She engages in cruel recreation. On Saturday night, she was in my life. <laughs> it sort of works. There's there's your smash up for the day, which is also just a mash up because it doesn't contain Smash Mouth.
There we go. Good kidney stone play. I'm actually more concerned about this run than you might imagine right now. 5 HP is not good. Not, not great, at least. And I'm using Blue Baby's only friend to do, like, all of our damage. Which may be my own personal failing, but... Head down to the next floor. What are we looking for here? I mean, I guess maybe the ability to actually have some mapping would be nice, but, you know, what do I know? Curse of the Maze. Not that bad. Oh, my reflection. Loki's horn continues. Cricket's head. Cricket's head is... It makes it all worthwhile. Now, I think that uh, my reflection might actually be horrible for us, but let's do it just to get weird. Get some flies going. Flies are going to be a lot better because of Cricket's head. I did get hit there. Okay, we in the red hard zone now, boys. We in the red hard district. Keys. Don't want keys. I took luck toe specifically with the intention of getting uh, more chests. That's exactly what I was looking for. The virus gives us some HP potential out of this. The sun gives us full health. And full health trumps mapping at this point. We may have to use it sooner than I had originally anticipated. One more hit, we pop the sun card. And it's worth it. We get the mapping out of it as well. The longer we can go, though, without having to use it, the better. Did we really get one fly out of Guppy's head that time? Whoa! We're on the boss fight. Holy shit, we did it. Okay. Well, this run, again, maybe the reroll put us in a weird spot, but otherwise it was pretty good. Oh, balls of steel. Oh, Billy. So good. Okay. So what do you use the sun card for? Well, if you're a smart person, which I'm going to endeavor to be, you don't fuck with it at all. You use the sun card the same way you would normally use the sun card. I.E., when you get hit twice, you go back to full HP. I'm not taking the most aggressive approach here, I'll be the first to admit, but I'm not really concerned about that at all. Margin for error a little lower on this run than I had originally anticipated. That's alright. He's dead. We might as well sun him to death. Oh, problem solved. Thanks for watching. That's Win42. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.